Hello, Mr. Nicholas. How are you today? It's uh, yeah, today I'm is uh, eight of uh, December. Eight of December. Yes. Yeah. Hello, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin now is uh, forty-three thousand two hundred and zero five. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. That's the price I bought some of my Bitcoin before it yeah. goes down. It's good <laughs> when I see you do the DCA uh, the yeah. dollar uh, costing efforts uh, yeah. daily or weekly and you have your benefit. A lot of Bitcoin uh, yeah. investors have the profits in the crypto mm. this day when the price of the Bitcoin above 40,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good to see uh, that the price is uh, 43,000 as we expect last week, uh, last Monday. Mm -hmm. I should say this month is May now. Okay, last Sunday when we were talking about uh, the price and all, it was still 30, what, 38,000 or something, right? Yeah, 38,000. 38, right? Yeah, so very good. And, and we were like expecting it to reach uh, 40, 45 by the third week of December, but now it's only the eight. So yes, forty five thousand is very possible because you were you were I was talking about forty, you were talking about forty five, right? Yeah, <laughs> but actually the price of a Bitcoin crypto Bitcoin hit the uh, forty nearly forty five thousand mm -hmm. uh, two days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now it's a time for the arm coin. Maybe ETH. You may see the. Yeah, let, yeah. let me see ETH. ETH should be uh, should be moving up uh, in tandem as well. It's about two thousand four hundred. Two thousand four hundred, right? Uh, two thousand three hundred and two thousand four hundred. Uh, two three six three at yeah. this current moment. Yeah. So uh, the price, the the price chart here says that um, uh, it was close to two four. So so now you see the uh, price movement. Yeah. So it was close to two four at one point. So uh, this is uh, over the last five days, the price movement. So we are over the last five days, uh, the price move up, step a little bit up and step a little bit. Uh, it stays there a little bit. And hopefully the next round, the next following week, you, you'll just step up a little bit. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, today is uh, it's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, yes. Yeah. And uh, next we have uh, we have now uh, not uh, nearly 20 days to the Christmas. Yeah. 20 days to the Christmas. That's why the Christmas we have around three more weeks. And after three more weeks is uh, next year's 2024. And yeah. FEC, they will need to decide to approve Bitcoin ETF or not. Yeah. That's the reason why. The price, uh, I, I think the moment the moment we reach uh, Christmas, yeah, everyone have this holiday mode again. You'll be <laughs> relaxed. Yeah. Then the moment January start, I think everyone will start to uh, most people will start to think and plan, yeah, and and hope and see how things can move for the better. Yeah, yeah, because halving halving is coming. Yeah. This part halving is so yeah. more important. We have a lot of factor that bring the crypto and Bitcoin were up first uh, Bitcoin helping every four years the second also president US president yes. election presidential yeah. election and then the next one the next year is very important and FEC uh, uh, security emission commissioner in US they decide uh, 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 decide to do the Bitcoin ETF uh, sufficient from some of the uh, biggest company in US they want to uh, sell the Bitcoin as a pro product in the ETF uh, market yeah. and then uh, of course uh, a lot of uh, uh, financial institutional a lot of investor they mm. can approach they can buy invest in Bitcoin easier mm. they can buy directly to, directly to the company and they don't worry about to hold the Bitcoin uh, by themselves. The com they let the company uh, do it, and then it's legally. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, uh, some of the company now they uh, they try to uh, hold as much as the 
uh, uh, Bitcoin and crypto to prepare for the approval from SEC. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the thing. And the next one we see nowadays, not only in uh, Russian Ukraine war, but we also facing the, the earth, facing a lot of cow like um, Israel uh, and Hamas and in the in Southeast Asia we also see the Myanmar yeah a lot of uh, uh, things that uh, that uh, make the world people worry about uh, the self heaven yeah, yeah. yeah. we uh, so as, as far as uh, money is concerned if you park your money somewhere, yeah. you don't want to see war happen in the place yes. or in the region. Yeah. So let's say, for example, uh, a lot of uh, people from the Middle East, if they have money uh, parking near near a uh, high risk zone, high risk meaning what uh, uh, countries where some warmongers they are trying to stir trouble and these are the countries that people will start to oh, you know uh, let's 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 rethink and let's re re strategize how we want to deal with our, uh, how we want to handle our money and maybe perhaps we want to move the money elsewhere or perhaps we want to make the money into something digital you know yeah that's right <laughs> yeah a lot uh, now as mr nicholas mentioned uh, how we can use the money and how we can keep our money in a safe place. Yeah. A lot of uh, investors, people think, oh, and like 20 years ago, a lot of people think, oh, I must buy gold. Mm -hmm. I yes. must buy uh, some of the asset that can keep my uh, uh, my money in some place, like uh, we were investing in property. Yeah. Yeah. And it's basically to yeah. hedge, hedge your asset yeah. Hedge, hedge it against in, uh, inflation yeah because uh, right now the the keynote here is that uh, inflation is something that you and I don't like to hear but it is actually happening yeah. uh, all across the world yeah so another another thing is that it's not just inflation and the, there's this notion of hyperinflation that is like coming at coming at us you know yeah, so especially if you're using, if your country is using US dollar as a main currency, then you run a risk because uh, you look at how the world is uh, trying to de-dollarize or already de-dollarize or moving into other currency or creating their own currency, uh, regional currency, so to speak. Because uh, you see, we, we heard Brazil try to create their own uh, regional currency in South America. You see the BRICS trying to create their own uh, currency or a basket of currency. Uh, whichever it is, these are signals and these are signs that are, that are, and, and information they are telling us that they are moving away from using US dollar. But then there's one country, Argentina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Argentina, recently this new uh, president, yeah. I don't know how you pronounce it, eh? Javier? 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 I don't know. Uh, Mille, Mille, Mille is the last name, right? So he, during his uh, road to presidency, he was trying to energize the public, say, oh, we will use US dollar as our main currency, we will drop pesos, well, yeah. whatever. You know? <laughs> While the world is moving away from US dollar, this guy is telling the whole world he wants to adopt US dollar as his main currency. Yeah. Whether he will do it or not, we're not too sure. Yeah. But the thing is that it did help him to become president, right? <laughs> That's more important to him. He becomes a president. So what's next? You know, will he adopt US dollar as his main currency for the whole country? We don't know. But if he do, if he do that, then um, in fact, uh, in fact, okay, let's sidetrack a little bit. Uh, the BRICS. They invited a few countries to join them yeah. in 2024, right? So Argentina was one of those countries. So now they are me me the media says, oh, Argentina will not join BRICS. So there are two, two group of people who are looking at this thing, this issue. Oh, uh, he's not joining BRICS. Ah, he's in for the loss. Another group will say, 
he's not joining BRICS. Oh, good for him <laughs> because he has the support of the US. Then you you have two different kind of problems. But the thing is that will countries like this, uh, and when they make this kind of move, will it uh, affect the the people's interest or influence? people's interest into cryptocurrency as well because why well, if my president tell me to uh, wants to adopt US dollar and if I am not confident in the certain particular currency then will I try to uh, park some of my money into digital currency yeah, yeah. now that's possible possible things to think about right yeah, yeah. Uh, when you say something about when Argentina want to switch into the US dollar, it look like the sell Avalor is they are using the US dollar for a long time and now yeah. they 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 switch to the Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. yeah legalize Bitcoin nowadays. And uh, the president of uh, El Salvador, he he stepped out to prepare for the present election for a few for a few months then then he still continue to uh, uh, to support for the uh, bitcoin yeah mm -hmm. uh, but i don't know will he will he continue with the bitcoin to support uh, for his country again in this next lesson but let's see between the el Salvador and between argentina and i also hope that both of this country they can have the independent in financial because when you will rely on one currency you will rely on your country mm. on the country of this yeah currency. on the on the country where this currency yeah. came from yeah in this aspect we are talking about usd if they are using usd they will be very dependent on yeah. the governance of the us the us government and yeah. the us government yeah <laughs> If the US government feel unhappy, they can cut the money supply. And yeah, really this morning I was listening to the radio yeah. on the road when I was driving. So um, they said, oh, uh, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, is now yeah. is being investigated for some corruption or something like that. Yeah. Then they say, oh, if he's found guilty, he'll be liable for a jail term up to 17 years. Yeah. So in my mind, <laughs> as I was on the road, 17 years, will they allow him to go to jail for 17 years? I don't think so. <laughs> because this is the president's son, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that uh, uh, things like this are, are picking up pace. On one side, you hear Donald Trump getting investigated, getting this. On the other side, it's just like, you know, in, in, that, in that country's gov gov government, you have two camp of people fighting each other. I think they are trying to dig the dirt, dig yeah. the dirt, D digging the dirt out of the, or the out opponent from the other party. Yeah. yeah. So this kind of action, this kind of uh, things, uh, the way I look at it, it is it is actually slowing down progress. Yeah. You know, if your country need, if your country is progress is slowed down because of all these A B C D E F G S whatever it is. Yeah, then uh, it's hard to hard to think that hard to put a lot of faith in the system. Yeah, yeah. so I think maybe that's why uh, uh, El Salvador uh, when when they uh, say they want to use Bitcoin as legal tender, I think perhaps some of those motivation comes from what they see in the U.S. government. Yeah. yeah. So and also. I believe this is part of the reason why a lot of uh, countries are now slowly be opening up themselves to BRI, Bell and Road, which is uh, being spearheaded by China. Yeah. Because why, uh, what China promised is, you guys make money, I want to make money, you can make money, we all make money together. Yeah, so, and of course, every government wants to make money, who wants to make money, right? Yeah, yeah so if this gives me an opportunity to make money, I will want to be part of it. Of course, if I'm not sure, I will stand at the sideline and see whether you are really making money. If you are really making money, now, okay, I give you my money, please make, yeah. help me make money. Yeah, you know? So, and infrastructure is a big thing as well. Yeah. yeah so, 
I, I, I'm, I'm hoping to see more things coming up from Africa, African continent. Yeah. Because African continent, they have been, um, uh, they have been uh, on the low for long, too long. Yeah. You know, and I think in the next five ten years, they should be uh, able to get out uh, and start to make better lives for the people in uh, Africa. Yeah, and we also hope that uh, in the near future, a lot of uh, people, investor and people uh, in crypto, they have uh, more and more profits. Uh, where, where because they waiting for Bitcoin and all crypto running for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I think 20, yeah. 20, 21, yeah. And, and, and part of the reason why we are talking, we are touching on subject of uh, uh, politics and finance, corruption and all this. Yeah. It is because uh, things can happen, if things can happen there in the fiat currency world, Fiat currency financial system. Yeah. Things can also happen in the Bitcoin or crypto uh, yeah. financial system. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, the same people with the same kind of grid will, st will start to do the same things at the other side yeah. of the fence as well. So as a crypto investor, crypto enthusiast, we ourselves, as we look at all these things that is happening out in the world, out in the world financial system, world money market, uh, we need to be careful and be uh, and do our own due diligence yeah, each time we look at some project each, each time we feel that a project is worth investing then we, we of course we do more research behind who is behind this project who is uh, running and who is investing in this project and I think uh, with all this duty due diligence that we do for ourselves yeah. because we don't want to feel sorry for ourselves yeah. and for our decision that we make so so we do this uh, thing to give us keep ourselves well informed so yeah. that we will not regret later yeah yeah it's took like uh, some of a friend asking oh when can can we cash out because yeah. we see the profits in crypto and we can cash out you can uh, uh, decide by yourself do research you when you feel enough is enough then you can yeah. cash out Test out the market and you wait for the right time to jump in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe uh, uh, wherever you are, uh, so there will always be a community of people who are always transacting, always buying and selling crypto. Of course, if you are transacting with people that you haven't met before, it's good to make sure that you guys meet up and things like that. So over here in Singapore, we have this uh, crypto FGOTC over the counter. So there are a lot of people in this this community group. They are saying, "Oh, I want to sell. How much of this? At what price? And of course, uh, let's transact and things like that." So for this particular, what I'm buying 50, 50 thousand worth of USDT uh, in cash deal. You know, then uh, they, they they will say, "Oh, please message for rate." And some some say, "I'm buying one point three five five hundred thousand Singapore dollar." Is yeah. that the, if you can trace or buy something if you yeah. know, it's better to do the face yeah, to face. Yeah, it's better to do yeah. face to face. Face to face. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, many many things lah, many many things that is happening uh, in a community. So wherever you are, I believe that there are some community where you can meet face to face with people. Who knows? You all become very good friends and then yours. Yeah, yeah. You guys start to make a lot of money together. Yeah, that, well. that's right. Yeah. And we hope that you all can um, can. Uh, uh, trade well and make a right decision in any uh, any project yeah. Yeah. and find a good and well project and prepare for the next bomb next running of the crypto bitcoin mm -hmm. next year yeah and then i think it's it's time for us to complete our video uh, at, at this time yeah before we uh, say goodbye uh, Mr. Nicholas, you can say something. All right. Um, I think whatever I want to say in a closing, I said it during the during the video. So, but still, remember to um, do your own due diligence. What we cover here is information for us to understand the market better. And of course, we are not giving advice. Please do your own duty, and we hope you make some money. And we'll see you in our next video.